Hi guys, um, I'm Marco and I am going to try to replicate a waste valve for a linear RAM pump. Um, kind of tr gonna try to replicate the waste valve that I've seen on YouTube uh, made by Ap Apro Tacky. I hope I pronounced that well enough and uh, I'm gonna this is going to be the uh, first step to end up building a linear ramp pump like that so all in a straight line so the things that you're gonna need for this uh, build are uh, a hacksaw and I'm using a skirting board saw uh, I've often wondered why there are hacksaws with a tiny bit of the uh, saw blade sticking out well now I know because I need one because I'm gonna need to uh, cut through the pipe uh, and not all the way across so um, now I do need one but yeah I only have this one so I'm gonna use the skirting board saw to make the cut so the uh, edge is straight going straight from the side to the center of the pipe well I'll, you know show you that later I'm gonna use a figure saw to make the lengthwise cut to cut out the valve uh, we're gonna need some sandpaper and a, a file um, probably also gonna use the band saw you can do this by hand but you can also use the bandsaw uh, just to round off the edges of the valve that we're going to cut out. Um, most importantly of course a 2 inch uh, piece of PVC pipe. This is schedule 40. You can make, uh, make it in any size but this is pretty much the smallest because you have to go in there with your hands and tighten the nuts and bolts. Um, so you know you can make this any size you can make the valve any size so that's the nice thing about it and looking at the uh, YouTube movie um, the valves gonna sound pretty much completely silent and it's not gonna make that loud clicking and banging sound we're gonna need uh, another piece of PVC pipe this is two, 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 one, one and a quarter inch uh, connector, a uh, coupler. Um, you just basically have to look for a piece that will fit quite snug, but not completely uh, tight into the the size diameter you're going to use because the piece of rubber that we're going to use for the uh, the actual mechanism that makes the valve open and close and to make sure that it makes a seal so the water doesn't come out when the valve is shut uh, that has to fit in between so yeah I'll show you later uh, a couple of glue clamps, some cement. Um, I was recommended uh, barge all-purpose cement, and it's just basically uh, because we need to glue rubber to the PVC pipe, and apparently this is the the best uh, for that. Even uh, Jamie, the guy with the mustache from mustache from uh, Midbusters, apparently uses this glue. Uh, <laughs> fun fact there. A uh, pair of scissors. That's to cut the piece of rubber. I got this at Rona. It came in like thirty centimeters by a meter uh, for like five bucks. Uh, but yeah, we only need a really tiny bit. Well, you can also use um, you know piece of inner tubing of uh, a 
you know, a tire or whatever, or even a, a thin uh, doormat would probably work on bigger size pipes. But yeah, I'm going with the thin uh, one because it's only going to be a two uh, inch pipe. Uh, we're going to need a drill with a, well, I'm going to use a 6 uh, M, 6 millimeter drill bit. And my all my bolts are also that same size as the, the drill. Um, so we're going to need two of these. That's uh, a short bolt with a lock washer, a uh, lock nut on it, and a couple of washers, small ones. Um, two of those. Uh, a bigger bolt um, with a couple of washers, tiny ones as well. Uh, lock knots again. A couple of washers, and this is going to be your weight to uh, help the valve open every time after every cycle and you know the amount you have to in the end adjust it to kind of time your uh, ram pump and a wing nut This piece of pipe pipe is about 15 centimeters and because it's a five centimeter roughly five centimeter diameter so two inches uh, I'm going to make the valve five centimeters wide I'm going to only make it three or four centimeters uh, high just to make it open and close a little bit easier and uh, to not uh, obstruct the water flow as much. So to cut out the uh, the valve, I usually use a piece of rubber band if I need to draw a straight line on a round on a round object like a, a pipe. Um, so we're gonna be about five centimeters from the edge doesn't have to be exact it's just a, a rough uh, indication and you kind of just snap it and then a, like a chalk wire you know, it will kind of become a straight line there I'm gonna use the uh, permanent marker just to uh, draw a line uh, alongside of that rubber band and just make sure it's uh, it's definitely long enough now we're gonna go to the uh, other side and uh, let's have a look here that's about five centimeters again five centimeters five centimeters that's good or I'll draw our second line so that's our lines for our two cuts there and now let's see if that fits no we'll have to uh, draw our Lengthwise lines. Okay, that's one. And let's see, four centimeters. That's about here. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, there we go, and that's going to be the size of our waste valve. So now we gotta cut out 
this valve and I'm just gonna start with this uh, saw and make a cut just until it goes through the wall of the pipe and then I'm gonna switch to this one to make the cut so it's going to be straight from the outside down to the center of the pipe there and uh, you want to use uh, rather rather a uh, thinner size saw blade because the less of a gap there is the less strain on the uh, on the rubber there will be because it's gonna cycle every second or so for days and days and days and years and years and years I'm just gonna show you uh, this one cut and then I'll uh, quickly do the other one and I'll get back to you so you can pretty much make the cut so that the uh, saw blade touches that corner of your line there on both sides and then you can switch to your uh, other one and if you have a hack blade with the blade sticking out you can start to use that once you made the initial cut okay so we're definitely through the pipe and it's gonna make make it a bigger so this will fit <laughs> I hope everybody can see this here I'm just gonna switch this over a bit Okay, so we're through the pipe and now I'm gonna angle the saw and make the uh, cut so the edge is straight down to the center of the pipe with, uh, with the uh, different hacksaw with the blade sticking out of it a bit it's probably gonna be a lot easier than fiddling around with this but yeah this is all I have so I'll have to make do okay so made both the uh, cuts and as you can see uh, it's pretty uh, straight going from the uh, outside to the center of the tube now we're going to make the lengthwise cuts we're going to use a figure saw for that uh, we'll just undo the uh, the blade the saw blade and try to fit it through the uh, cut that we made okay we're in business finally got it through as you can see uh, you'll go all the way to the corner and then make the uh, lengthwise cut I highly recommend you putting the pipe uh, upward like this and don't make the cut like that uh, it's just that the blade tends to start to curve 
and when it goes straight down it makes a nicer a lot nicer uh, straight cut across your uh, line so I'm just gonna make this cut and then the other cut as well and uh, then I'll get back to you to show you the uh, end result there okay and this is the uh, end result this is a go end result this is going to be our valve and uh, what I'm gonna do now is just put some sandpaper in the file I'm gonna get rid of the uh, shapings here and make this all nice and smooth and uh, just because of the way it looks the way uh, it looks in the YouTube video the, the one I'm trying to replicate I'm just gonna round off these corners so it, it looks uh, a bit more fancy and it looks really nice but uh, uh, I'm just gonna yeah basically round off the top part the outside part of the valve I'm gonna use the uh, valve sander for that because it's going to be a lot quicker uh, and uh, once I'm done with that I'll show you the end result of that okay so I'm back I've sanded it down and I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out it makes uh, the valve look uh, a lot nicer so uh, and uh, it make it will make it open and close a, a bit easier when it, once it's uh, sanded off uh, as well I feel that I have to uh, sand it off a little bit more because I feel that it's still snagging a little bit so I'm just gonna uh, make sure that it doesn't touch at all so it opens and closes real easily uh, once uh, once it's done uh, but I don't want the gap between the valve and the pipe to be too big again for the durability of the, of the life uh, of the rubber but yeah, I'm just going to take off a tiny bit. Okay, so now that's all done. We're going to make the uh, piece that's going to attach the rubber to the inside of the pipe uh, to make it uh, swivel. And uh, I'm going to make a, a reinforcement uh, as well behind the valve uh, also to uh, kind of increase the lifespan of the rubber I hope um, it's just that the glue uh, it yeah I'm I just want to make sure that it stays in place I'm um, building this uh, four inch uh, four inch uh, waste valve at the moment and I still have the uh, valve clamped to the rubber just because it's taking a long time for the glue to properly dry and stick to the rubber maybe there's some better material to use for the flap that the PVC will stick to better but I'm just gonna put uh, cut uh, a piece out lengthwise that's a little bit more than the four centimeter gap here and put that behind the rubber uh, because our counterweight that makes the valve open and close is gonna go through there so this is gonna be the rubber is gonna be sandwiched in between this and the actual uh, valve so I'm just gonna do that I don't know if it's necessary it's just that I'm gonna do it as a uh, kind of a fail safe so the, it, the valve doesn't uh, all of a sudden uh, break when I have it, uh, have it running uh, and I'm gonna cut out uh, the same length of this to reinforce the site where I'm gonna fix the rubber against the inside of the pipe that will make the swivel mechanism 
So I'm going to cut that out at the moment and then I'll uh, get back to you and show you uh, the result of that. Now I'm finished with uh, cutting out that piece. Uh, the piece is out of that uh, little piece of pipe that fits in here. Uh, so this is the valve. This is that piece that I cut out and I went to the belt sander and just uh, made it nice and straight. <coughs> now we're gonna glue the piece of rubber in between the two pieces of PVC and I'm gonna uh, have the edge of the uh, valve sitting at the top of the piece of pipe that I cut off and then the uh, piece of rubber stuck in between I have to cut it a little bit because it doesn't the rubber need, doesn't need to stick out of the uh, sides uh, of the bigger piece that's going to sit on the bottom because that's going to I uh, hope I can do this with one hand sit on the inside of the pipe like that and uh, it's gonna swivel like that so now I'm gonna oh well, and yeah the uh, hard piece of PVC is gonna sit against the wall so it'll take the pressure a bit better when the valve closes so the pressure won't be all on the rubber but it will be against the uh, the bigger piece of PVC that's sitting on the inside once I've uh, glued that then uh, I'll be able to attach it the piece of rubber to the inside of the uh, PVC pipe and actually have a hopefully a working waste valve so I'm gonna glue that now uh, the gluing is gonna take a really long time I'm gonna make sure that it's gonna be really dry so I'm gonna let it sit for at least 24 hours but I think I'm gonna wait uh, even longer than that just to be on the safe side I know that I'm gonna end up drilling a hole drilling a hole uh, through all these three layers and uh, then I'm gonna put the uh, bolt through that hole with the washer sitting on the outside and uh, I'm gonna tighten that bolt so it'll keep these two together even though they're glued but uh, I'm just gonna let the glue sit uh, for well, at least 24 hours and I hope I can uh, contain my excitement and my patience and uh, wait a little bit longer maybe even but uh, once that's done, I'll uh, I'll get back uh, and finish the valve by attaching the rubber to the inside of the PVC pipe there, and uh, I'm gonna glue it like this one I'm uh, I'm doing at the moment for the uh, four inch pipe. I'm gonna use the uh, clamps to keep all the three layers firmly pressed against each other. I'll uh, put the glue in and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like when I have the clamps on and then we'll continue once the uh, glue has uh, properly dried. Okay. There's uh, one more thing I want to mention before I glue these together is I used some sandpaper <coughs> to uh, roughen up the uh, the surface a little bit of both sides of the uh, uh, rubber and uh, the both sides of the uh, uh, pieces of PVC that are going to be glued to the uh, rubber and uh, I'm gonna uh, wash them now as well to make sure there's no grease 
on the uh, surfaces that need to be uh, glued together so I'm gonna just use some uh, dishwasher uh, or you know some washing up liquid and uh, degrease all the surfaces that are going to be glued together and then properly dry them and then I'll apply the glue and clamp it. Okay so I've put the glue just a thin layer um, and I sandwiched the uh, rubber in between the uh, two PVC pieces and uh, just make sure that the uh, top of your valve is aligned with the top of the uh, inside piece of PVC the bottom uh, that's the part that's gonna close and sit against the uh, rim of the pipe and it doesn't matter if there's a bit of rubber sticking out I'm gonna cut that off once these uh, pieces have uh, set I'm gonna cut it off uh, uh, across, you know along the outside of the bottom part on the inside part of the PVC pipe so not on the outside uh, the actual valve <coughs> and uh, just make sure you don't put too much glue not too little but not too much neither it shouldn't be squirting squirting out at the uh, sides um, especially not on this side because this uh, needs to fit snug in that opening and if there's too much glue then the valve won't close properly so now I'm gonna uh, clamp clamp all of this down and uh, I only have two clamps here I'm probably gonna get a couple more clamps just to uh, clamp the uh, just the rubber to the back plate you screw that on there tightly and make again sure that that is uh, aligned and this part here at the bottom isn't and another clamp and it kind of needs to you know the outside plate kind of needs to sit roughly in the middle of the back plate PVC plate there and uh, then I'm just uh, gonna wipe away the access glue and uh, let it sit and uh, once that's uh, set then I'm uh, gonna continue okay it is now uh, three days later I've waited three days and I'll show you the result of the uh, gluing of the valves against the uh, rubber and I must say I'm really glad that I made the second one because the first one it's okay but as you can see I can easily peel it off it's probably still gonna work because I'm gonna uh, drill a hole through it to uh, oh, put the uh, counterweight bolt uh, through there and then bolt it down so it's probably still gonna work just because of the back plate but yeah the uh, glue uh, isn't really a good option this is the one with the uh, PVC cement and this one is really really stuck uh, I, I really can't pry this off so I would really suggest using the uh, PVC cement to glue this down and not the uh, not the barge glue I bet it's a really good glue to glue uh, what it's intended for for shoes but uh, not as it suggests uh, to glue rubber to uh, plastic so um, I would definitely go with the uh, 
PVC cement and I don't know if it's because I drilled those tiny holes I left them as tiny as they were so uh, I think it's half a millimeter or maybe even less uh, I don't know if it's that what is because I clamped them down that it was pressing the cement through the holes so it actually fused this piece of PVC to this piece of PVC um, and it's not really gluing uh, you know glued to the actual rubber but you know it does the trick so I'll get uh, set to uh, prepare to put the actual valve inside the PVC pipe and uh, we'll go from there okay so <clears throat> what I've done is uh, I've trimmed the uh, rubber so it kind of fits the uh, the sides of the back plate uh, at the sides and at the bottom of course not on the top because that's where it's going to be clamped in between that little piece and the inside of the pipe um, to make kind of the hinge. Uh, what I'm gonna do first, uh, or oh, what I've done first, is uh, because I'm not using a piece of pipe that fit in inside the two inch or five centimeter diameter pipe, uh, but I've used a connector um, I there was this rim inside so I had to file that away with the hand file um, what I'm gonna do now is drill the hole uh, to put the uh, counterweight to open and close the valve uh, to put the be able to put the bolt through I'm gonna drill it a little bit higher so not in the center but a little bit higher so it will give the valve a little bit more room to open otherwise the uh, the bolt if it sits in the middle it's gonna hit the bottom uh, part the whole time and if I have it sitting a little bit higher it has a little bit more room so the valve can open a little bit further and it doesn't hit the uh, the bottom of the pipe the whole time uh, so I'm just gonna use a drill bit that's the same uh, diameter as the bolt and uh, once that's done I'll uh, show you the result of that okay so that's the hole uh, it's in the center lengthwise but not in the center uh, uh, that way and now I'm going to attach the valve to the inside of the pipe. I'm going to make, I, I think I'm going to sand off the edge a little bit first because it kind of is getting stuck against the bottom part here. Uh, you can do that uh, later as well uh, when you find out that it's hitting the inside of the pipe somewhere you can just file away a little bit of, you know in a tapered direction you can file that off so it's not hitting the um, inside of the valve or inside of the pipe um, but yeah that's why you have the uh, the rounded edges on the uh, on the actual valve so now as you can see the piece of rubber I left too long still and I'm just gonna uh, try it with holding that plate that I'm gonna put on the inside between like you know like with the valve the, the inside piece of PVC uh, where I'm gonna bolt the rubber in between the two pieces of PVC I'm just gonna uh, just by looking at it and Oh, come on. Uh, see where the, uh, sorry about the camera work here, where the hinge is supposed to go. You can see uh, pretty much 
how the valve is going to open and close on the inside and then you can decide where to uh, uh, make the uh, uh, plate go on the inside so that the uh, the valve uh, the rubber has enough uh, space to uh, bend properly and open and close properly because if you you know put it too close then it's not gonna bend as easily uh, and not as far uh, but if you put it too far the bottom of the valve is gonna hit <clears throat> the inside of the pipe too soon and it's not gonna open all the way so you kinda have to uh, look at it and just figure out what the best spot is and you know with a diameter like a four inch diameter pipe uh, that's not really an issue if your valve is not too big then it doesn't really matter but with a small pipe like this then uh, it does make a difference so I'm just gonna uh, look into that now what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to drill just one hole in the pipe and then bolt uh, well drill a hole in the pipe and a hole here and then bolt uh, one side down uh, to the inside of the pipe and then make sure that it's perfectly straight lengthwise uh, on the inside of the pipe this piece and then I'm gonna drill my second hole and that's just to make sure that it's uh, easier to align it properly lengthwise so it's not sitting like that uh, but it's sitting perfectly straight um, if you drill two holes in this first and two holes in that first then it's going to be more difficult uh, to get it perfectly straight um, you, you know I, I might just drill a hole two holes through here first and make sure that it's an absolute straight line like like this one and then drill my second hole through this once I've bolted the first one down it's uh, yeah also easier to you know then get the, the two holes in both the pipe and in the back plate at the exact same spot so you don't end up with leaks or gaps or stuff like that uh, so I'm gonna fiddle around with this uh, now and then I'll uh, show you the result of that in a bit. Um, thought I'd show you what I used to uh, draw a uh, straight line on uh, the outside of a piece of pipe. I'm using uh, this angle iron and if you if you're cut at the bottom of the pipe that is uh, straight anyway. You can just put it against the, the top and then have it sit against the length of the pipe and then just draw a line alongside the uh, the ruler bit. So um, my piece of pipe isn't cut perfectly straight at this side so I'm not going to use this I'm going to do it a different way I'll uh, measure it uh, somehow but uh, just uh, thought I'd share that with you uh, just as an idea to make it easier to draw a straight line lengthwise okay so I've measured this out <coughs> basically uh, first started with this one I uh, measured two centimeters from the edge uh, on either side I'm not going to use this one like I told you I'm going to drill these two holes first I just made the mark uh, anyway by mistake uh, but anyway uh, then uh, I drew that uh, lengthwise uh, line on there and I extended the lines I drew on the pipe first to make the valve opening because this is smaller than the back plate. Uh, I kind of just eyeballed it to make sure that it's sticking out uh, about the same 
length on either side of the outside of the valve lines and then I measured how far it is from those lines to that dot and I've put those markings on the uh, on the lengthwise line um, I chose two centimeters because it kind of gives the same amount of space from the edge to the center of the hole to the next one uh, so what I'm gonna do now is drill this hole this hole and that hole then bolt well, cut the rubber to length like I was talking about to make sure that it opens and closes properly. Uh, then I'm going to bolt the back plate and the rubber to the inside of the pipe and make sure that it sits perfectly straight with that straight line. And then I have that hole here already and I just need to drill through the back plate but then it's going to be exact exactly through that uh, you know it's not going to be a hole there already where I'm gonna drill a little bit further to the left or to the right and make it a hole bigger so it you know it has the potential to leak that's why I'm gonna drill this hole first that hole first one hole in this one and then once it's uh, you know bolted down with one bolt I'm gonna drill the second hole well through this hole and make a second hole in the back plate okay I'll uh, get back uh, once I'm done with that okay so I've drilled the two holes there and that one now I have the valve sitting where I want it to sit uh, with the rubber against the holes there what I'm gonna do now is drill the hole through the rubber and this is a bit finicky because you you know with a bigger diameter pipe it's a lot easier to get in there with your hands but um, I'm gonna have to make sure that I hold the rubber down so it doesn't move when I drill the hole through that piece of rubber there um, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do now I'm not gonna do that with the back plate behind it um, because I don't want to again uh, damage that hole uh, but uh, yeah I'll uh, show you the result of that in a bit okay this is uh, a little bit more difficult than I anticipated so the I couldn't get through with the uh, six millimeter uh, drill bit without moving the rubber too much so that what I've done is get a really uh, small diameter like the, the smallest I have uh, drill bit go to the center of the hole and punch a hole through the rubber and then not using the drill but just by hand I uh, went to a uh, just a little bit bigger diameter drill bit and uh, you can probably not see it because it's too dark but uh, I made the hole uh, just by pushing the little bit bigger drill bit through and then turning it by hand made the hole a little bit bigger and now I'm just gonna uh, now it's a little bit open I'm not gonna make it all uh, uh, the way uh, the same size as this hole I'm just gonna push the uh, bolt through the hole and that will actually help it to make a nice uh, watertight seal and once the bolt is pushed through you can even fill up this hole um, before you put the washer on the outside with some uh, epoxy or uh, I'm not going to use epoxy anymore on PVC pipe I uh, might as well just put a little bit of PVC PVC cement in that hole and then push the uh, um, uh, before I put the washer and the lock nut on um, but yeah that's just you know trial and error uh, it's probably gonna seal 
uh, well enough without um, anyway but yeah uh, so now I'm gonna attach the back plate and bolt it down and then I'll drill my second uh, hole uh, once it's bolted down through the initial hole here and it will be a nice uh, you know shape hole on the inside that I can bolt down on that side as well okay okay so I have my uh, bolt with the washer and the washer and the lock knot that will go on the other side um, here so this is the back plate I'm gonna put the bolt through the hole so it's it's snug there and I'm gonna push the bolt through that hole I made in the uh, piece of rubber. You might have to uh, push it and like thread it through. And it's going to be a snug fit. I'm actually gonna have to make the hole a little bit bigger here. Even, so I'm gonna just uh, by hand not with the the actual drill push a drill bit through and just uh, open the hole a little bit bigger and now hopefully the bolt will fit through let's see there we go and uh, now I'm gonna go into the pipe and uh, put the ball through the uh, the hole on the inside of the pipe. Come on. All right. So then on the outside, we'll put the other washer, and then the. Uh, lock bolt and then to drill the second hole well I'm gonna tighten that in a bit but I'm just gonna show you uh, so what you have to make sure now is that the valve is positioned correctly before you bolt uh, bolt it down and drill the other hole that your valve is positioned that center so it, it's not gonna hit the sides of the pipe when it opens and closes and okay and now I've drilled the second hole and bolted it down and this is what it looks like on the inside when the valve is closed it's a really snug fit on the inside both sides really uh, happy the way that turned out and uh, I had to file away uh, with a hand file a little bit of the edge here so it's a little bit more tapered going in just to make sure that the valve when it closes the like I should have file, filed off the edge of the actual valve a little bit more uh, tapered so because it was when it was closing it was hitting the bottom of the uh, opening there and now it's actually not it's uh, nicely opening and closing so the only thing we have to do now uh, to finish it is to put the counterweight in and of course with the small diameter pipe the bolt uh, doesn't fit through the inside of the hole so I'm just gonna use a piece of uh, 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 well either a bolt where you cut the end off or just a piece of threaded uh, uh, metal and then you use a, uh, lo a lock knot with a washer on the inside 
and uh, I will do that now and then I will show you the finished product uh, and hopefully you can make a valve yourself okay so I've uh, put the uh, threaded wire through the hole and put a washer and a lock nut on there. I've used uh, this to uh, kind of hold the uh, hold it in place because the lock nut has a lot more resistance on it. Um, putting that in between, it's just a piece of paper, or, you know, this is an old envelope, <clears throat> just to uh, make sure that you don't damage the thread and I'm gonna do the same thing putting the uh, washer and the lock nut on the other side that goes all the way down to the valve to uh, you know keep it in place uh, I'm gonna do that the same way and then I'm gonna you know somewhere uh, put another lock nut facing the other way to put the uh, big washers on and then you know uh, I'll uh, I'll do that now and it's all done there you go a waste valve just out of a piece of PVC pipe some rubber a couple of nuts and bolts and uh, you have a waste valve it's uh, very quiet, it's not gonna make the clanking uh, noise the whole time. When you install it, just make sure you have this facing straight up and this facing down to the side. And uh, I, I drilled the hole not in the center uh, of the valve uh, just because I didn't want that, uh, you know, rod hitting the PVC pipe the whole time as you can see the when the valve is completely open it's still not touching the PVC pipe so that's not gonna cause any wear and tear and that's gonna not cause any noise um, yeah quite pleased it nicely open, opens and closes and uh, you, you can adjust these uh, amount of washers and uh, adjust the nut and, uh, and everything to kind of time your pump uh, right and uh, I hope you guys uh, are gonna be able to uh, make a nice ram pump uh, valve as well and uh, well all the best to you and uh, hopefully I'll uh, make another video showing an actual ramp pump working with this valve and uh, thank you very much